Hey guys, welcome back to another interview here on Toned In Entertainment. We are here with the dream girl, Ellie. Thank you for joining me here today. Yeah, of course. Thank you. I, so I totally lost my voice, so I'm sorry. Just okay, so... To everyone listening, I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, now we're here at Blueprint Wrestling here in Deerfield Beach, and today you have a triple threat match with Kylan King and Anna Diaz. Yes. How does one prepare for a triple threat match versus a singles match? Oh, gosh. Um... It's, you just kind of got to always watch your back mm -hmm. to kind of make sure, like, because there's always that other person kind of behind you. It's like, hey, you're in front of me. But there's also kind of someone behind me, too, I guess. So right. it's kind of like, you don't really know what's going to happen. It's always make sure you're looking at your surroundings, I guess. Right. And then just make sure you hit everybody twice as hard. Do you try to turn the other two against them and maybe take a little breather? Hopefully they beat each other up. See, my, that's my plan is to kind of, like, not hide, but, like, do what I need to do and get out of the way so I don't get hit. That's my plan for today. All right. Well, that sounds good. Um, now, here in Florida, there's been a lot of uh, independent wrestling going on. And I think people really are missing out if they don't come to one of these shows. Yeah, definitely. Um, so, to be honest, we don't really work in Florida a whole lot. Sorry, guys. Um, no, I've seen you're all over the country. Yeah, stuff. We're, we're... Oh, God. I feel like I haven't been home in a month because we were in England and then... I don't know where else we were. New York and Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina. Sorry, there's there's a guy, there's Fabu behind us, and I want to hit him. Oh, yeah, no, Fabu's already waiting for us. We told him we're going to get an interview with him today, too. I'm going to hit him. Yeah? You're yeah. hitting me like you're already ready to get in the I'm, ring and I, get some action I'm always in. ready to hit people. Okay, well, speaking of hitting people, the one question I've been asking everybody today, um, I grew up loving the Four Horsemen. I think it was one of the greatest factions of all time. Um, if Dream Girl Ellie was challenged by the Four Horsemen or the Four Horsewomen, um, what three wrestlers of any generation would you grab to get your back? It could be men or women. I, oh, they're here and they're going to watch the interview, so I know I have to say Joey and Blanco. Um, and then, oh God, this is a lot of pressure. I didn't prepare for this. And Fabu, because he's watching me. He's just staring. I think he just expected me to say it. Yeah. So I guess it's going to be those three. Grab those three and be like, hey, we're going to take on Rick, Arn, Tully. We're going to take yeah, them all We're just going to do it. Okay. So I wasn't alive for that. I don't you know if that alive. makes me feel old or not, but I wasn't really alive when they kind of came out. So sorry, guys. Okay. Yeah. It kind of makes me feel a little old, but it's more okay. more heat towards me? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Well, here's maybe an easier question then. Um, I love pop culture. That's what we do here on Toned In Entertainment, comics, movies. Um, if there's a favorite guilty pleasure movie of yours, something that you think, you know, you know, you put it on and people, you wouldn't necessarily tell people that you watch this movie, but you really like it. Is there, do you have a favorite guilty pleasure movie? I'm not really like ashamed of the movies that I okay. watch, but, and I, I hate that I'm going to say it. Um, I despise Pokemon with every inch of my body, but I got forced to watch Detective Pikachu and it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay. So like, I, I have no. I think I'd put that on again. Like we were, uh, we were flying to England, and it was on one of the movies, and I was like debating if I wanted to watch it. But Blanco was next to me, and I knew that he would have just like given me crap about like putting it on, so I couldn't. And I was like a little upset about it because it was actually like a decent movie. So okay. that might be it. You know what's funny is I had never watched anything Pokemon ever in my entire I've life. I never understood any of it. I still don't. I know that Blanco has the Pikachu guy. I'm like, I've, I can, I know like three, four of them now, okay. but like, I don't understand anything about it. Yeah. It's like, I went into Pokemon again. I had no understanding of it whatsoever. And you know, I rate my movies in three categories. Number one, go out and see it now. Number two, wait for streaming or number three, completely skip it. Yeah. I actually gave Detective Pikachu a go out and see it now. Cause nope. I actually enjoy, oh, you're going to wait for streaming. Oh, we did. Yeah. We, uh, <laughs> so this is frowned upon, but. There's a website that we use to watch movies, and we, we use that. So oh, that's okay. I, I'm not going to tell you it because then uh, it's definitely frowned upon, but it wasn't my idea. That's okay. When I interviewed Effie a few months ago, he's actually here wrestling Chuckles the Clown tonight. Okay. Oh, Effie's all awesome. And I actually asked him what his favorite guilty pleasure movie was. He said The Untouchables. Okay. Ooh. Okay. And then. You never know with Effie what the and, answer's Yeah. Be. And then so I said, Effie, you know your DVD collection? He's like, no. He's like, turn to movies. He's like, I don't watch any of the movies. I try to tell people not to turn, but he said the executives have already been paid. They got their money. and. That's, that's kind of 
know what I'm saying. Like, you already get your money. One person watching a movie is not going to mess up anything. Oh, okay. So sorry, guys. All right. Well, thank you so much, Ellie, for joining me here on Toned In Entertainment. And guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more interviews yes, like definitely. this. Subscribe to the channel. Do it. Go now. Do it now.